Hey YouTube, my Optrel E684 welding helmet has arrived and we're going to do a quick little review of it right now. I bought it because my old helmet managed to flash me a couple of times and I didn't really appreciate that. Pretty much like my eyesight and I'd like to keep it as good as it is. So this is supposed to be the bee's knees in welding helmets. Now I've already unboxed it because Gee, everyone knows how to open a box and get the presents out. That's the helmet. It's a model E684 and it comes with uh, an automatic mode. You set it to normal, a little bit less than normal, a little bit more than normal and apparently it doesn't matter what amperage you're welding with, the helmet will automatically adjust to seat. Okay, now I've just got it, I haven't played with it uh, much. I just had one quick little weld with it, and I am really impressed. Comes with manual, of course, spare cover, and wow, I even got a little beanie for winter. welding with this helmet and then I plan to do a review just let you know what I think of it but first impressions just from the short little uh, three or four inch weld I did earlier is wow this is so good uh, my welding was way better than it has been and if you've seen my earlier videos you know I've only been welding for a couple of weeks um, so I haven't had a lot of practice but with that new helmet I could actually see the puddle clearer I could see the join it was just so much easier to weld that my weld improved maybe two or three hundred percent over what they used to be the welds, were, the welds I did, all the welds I did with the experiment and as I say it only amounted to about three or four inches but all of the welds were really really good um, by my standards, of course, a professional welder would probably look at them and say, oh yeah, but nevertheless, I'm happy with it. As I say, a little bit more practice with it, and I'll do a proper review, and I'll try to get some video through the lens. I'm not sure how possible that's going to be, but I'll try to get some comparison shots from the old helmet to the new helmet, and you can see for yourselves. It took longer than I expected to do a full review, but we got it together in the end. I can see by looking at the video afterwards that the image isn't quite as good as I see when looking through the helmet with my eyes. The same can be said for both videos and therefore we still have a valid comparison. We're starting off with you looking through the Sigwell helmet, which is the cheap one that I bought originally. You can see how bad that is. Very difficult to see what's happening in the weld and getting a clear view of the puddle is almost impossible. The darkness filter on this cheap helmet is set to the same level that I generally use when welding. Naturally, I'm using the Optel helmet to weld with at this point. Now we'll swap over, and this time you're looking through the Optel helmet, and I'm looking through the old Sigwell helmet trying to do a weld alongside the first one. As you can see, I found even that was difficult to keep a straight line. The weld wandered a little bit. Uh, I just couldn't see as well to see what I was doing. I find it difficult to follow the join. All in all, the Optrail helmet is just way better for me. Now we'll run those two videos side by side so that you can see the comparison. Obviously, the Optrail helmet is giving me a better view. It's much easier to see what you're doing. I found puddle control was just a piece of cake with the new Optrail helmet, whereas with the old Sigwell helmet, uh, I could barely see what was happening. Given the experience I've had with this, I think I'd have to say it's well worth investing in a high-end helmet, not just to protect your eyes, but also to give you a better view of the welds. As a rule, I like to support local business, but when there's a huge difference in the price of buying local as opposed to buying overseas and shipping it in, 
then I'll go overseas and in this case the difference was close to 30%. There's some links in the description for searches for the Optel helmet if you want to check out the pricing. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you found it useful. Until next time.